Hi, photo de Stierdon, one more aircraft part from Colsman, the pressure error correction unit. So it is obviously a unit that will take uh, static or dynamic air pressure and figure out some uh, error. So we can expect to have a precision measuring of the pressure inside air and open it onto a connector. So it is a quite uh, large unit. Excuse me for the focus issues today. Quite long, uh, more than 20 centimeters. Uh, there is obviously an airtight uh, part in the front here and electronics on the back. The cover here was damaged. I had to drill holes in order to pull it out because it was bent inside and it was not possible to remove this cover. So I will undo some screws for you. So first in this rear compartment we have electronics and actually more electronics than expected because we have three circuit boards that are stacked all together uh, with a number of very classic parts. The dead code is of February 1975 on this thing. So we have metal can transistors uh, glass body diodes, a few different kinds of resistors, WIMA multilayer capacitors, and uh, wet totalum air capacitors, probably. It is the same kind of components on the three PCBs. And on the bottom one, excuse me, here we have some uh, power transistors. And in the middle one, a wall bunch of vertically mounted diodes. Some trim pots. Wave, I did just notice here. I do not know how it will appear on camera, but this particular trim pot is uh, like blown open. It is the same first time I ever see this. Maybe it did over it or did melt or something like this. Not something expected. We have another serial number for the electronics unit here on the back. And we have cables connecting uh, the electronics to the rest of the device. So I guess I will need to disconnect them in order to be able to uh, extract the pressure sensor unit. But first I will undo this cover here because it is apparently covering the wall wire harness. Yes. As you can see, the wire harness here goes to the front. We have uh, these two connectors. I did already see, see, already see these kind of connectors elsewhere. They are quite not terribly impressive. Nice gold contacts, but the design itself. Look here, we have two separate parts of connectors. This one is completely loose, like this when you undo the metalling part. Quite a weird design. Bottom one. And actually, uh, very regular British pink wires. I do not know where it is made. Ah, yes, it is made in Southampton. Southampton. So it is made in uh, UK, not in uh, USA and uh, also it has uh, Ministry of Defense broad arrow here, so it is for military aircraft this thing. And it is why we have the uh, British pink wire with uh, ITT cannon branded plugs here. And 
most probably yes the uh, parts themselves have uh, this one here we have a Plissey capacitor so British brand this one is Wimar so it is German I do not see the brand on the other parts ok so when this is done I can now undo the front cover here so we have three screws with the weird locations this one adds a safety wire to the nut here of the connector and two screws here but uh, not screw here in the corner for instance this cover is uh, this uh, part here is just poking out to match the other part no screw here also so quite unusual construction and location of the screws but it is what it is, what it is. I need to undo this cover, I believe, to access uh, internal screws that will secure the two parts here together. I hope I will not need to separate the two wire looms because they are tied like this. I can redo it, but it will be additional work. So here is what we have in this uh, compartment uh, quite uh, big actually to read a transformer the back of a connector with a wire loom and in here apparently uh, airtight connection pass through with uh, quite a lot of wires so now I believe I can do the other screws and I should be able to pull the wall thing also about this airtight compartment I am not sure actually if I, have, I am doing or not the correct screws because maybe these are screws to attach the uh, internal parts and I see we have one more here so it would rather be this one to undo the, the casing it is not tight by the way not extremely tight at least Ok, it looks like we are in. Yes, I was right about the screws. So what do we have in here? As you can expect, pressure capsules, aneroid capsules. We have more electronics actually, that I was not expecting. With more of the same kind of orange connectors. And something interesting here actually uh, a little 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 module that is called amplifier electronic control I will need to undo this what do we have else more connect internal connections we have one Super high precision multi tap potentiometer here apparently. One uh, servo motor assembly here with gearbox interconnecting everything together. One more servo or synchro thing here with you can see rotary contacts. So this is interesting your two capsules and this back PCB with the super interesting device here so I need to free it out of the way in order to be able to have a look at it
Okay, before I forget, in the case here nothing, just a seal around. The electronics are all screwed to this unit, so it is apparently a separate unit here you could swap easily, more or less. So here the circuit board is now free. So we can see it a little bit better. Each uh, unit is connected here with these connectors to this board. We have one more toroidal transformer. Some quite weird parts like these things. Here seems to be probably capacitors but not a regular shape. Here we have a better view at the mechanism. Oops, and actually, all the screws are falling off, by the way. We might have, you can see here, some kind of damage. It must be why this instrument was removed from the service. Because, yes, we have broken parts. This is loose, and we, here we are missing an uh, axis or something, keeping this uh, piece here in this uh, hole. So it happens very often with uh, altimeters and such uh, air measuring instruments to find broken parts inside. It is not the first time it happens to me. And uh, so other YouTubers doing uh, instrument teardowns had the same issue. So nice units here, these things. This one, I do not know what it is, but you can see very, ni very nice rotary contacts. Super nice uh, die cast metal piece here. Uh, this screw here is not Allen, it is uh, Bristol Spline. Okay, so I will not bother undoing the thing here as it is just. Uh, we see uh, most everything. So obviously one of the two air inputs goes inside the anyway capsules with a little copper pipe you can see here. And the other one is just the pressure case. Okay, I want to have a look at this small unit if it is possible to open it. So for this purpose I will need to undo I believe the two super super small nuts here so let me find out if i have small enough tool and actually yes i found this i do not know how many it must be maybe three millimeters something like this and it is matching these very small nuts but uh, Actually, it is not terribly good because the screw is turning and I am not able to undo the unit by itself. So instead I need to undo the other nut here at the end. But it is not really a good surprise. Okay, I found the correct tool. Quite lucky today. And now I should be able to maybe pull it out of the way. Try to. I really want to know what we have inside here, but uh, it looks like it will not be very easy. Okay, we are good. So we have a super tiny module called the ATP. Electronic control amplifier part number 245 dead code. I do not know what this dead code means. American Time Products Division Frequency Control Products Division. Okay, we have on the back apparently a pin out. Signal in, signal ground, output, 0 and 180 degrees. 
so it must be some kind of uh, synchro control transformer, control amplifier, something like this. And I do not know if it will be possible or not to pull the contents if I unbound this uh, metal tabs or if it is sealed inside actually I believe it is filled with uh, epoxy it is not completely easy to tell but I will try for you to open it, put the contents and see if it is possible or not. We will know it right now by the way. There is some thing, some coating. Yes, it is filled with uh, cutting material, combo formal compound or something like this. I can see, not sure how you will see, we have uh, corkwood construction with two, a sandwich of two circuit boards in here. I can see little uh, metal can transistors. I can see a resistor here, just here, in a corkwood assembly between the two circuit boards. You can see this. But uh, it will not be possible to pull it on the, of the case because it is glued because of a conformal coating but quite uh, unusual little unit by the way interesting I was not expecting this want to find again uh, so many electronics in the, this part of the instrument So really nice uh, assembly well, for the price it is a good unit interesting even if uh, it is broken here yes you can totally see here uh, everything is uh, out of uh, alignment quite amazing this potentiometer by itself must be super expensive okay so I will try to put this back together now. Quite a nice uh, little unit for my collection. More complicated than expected. And really nice construction. And the sticker here by the way is coming off, you can see. Okay, so thanks for watching. Bye bye.